the top 10 homemade model engines, starting off with some of the most epic LEGO builds, and finally ending the video with some of the best scaled running engines. So stay tuned and let's begin the top 10 countdown. Starting off with number 10, the great 16 cylinder imitation radial. Built by Daniel Martz, this is one of the most complicated LEGO engines on YouTube. Everything is controlled by one electric motor, and the pitch of the prop can be controlled by a dial. It's also kind of cool to see an even number of cylinders per row on this model, which is not really typical on a normal running radial engine. But just assembling something with 16 cylinders, a prop, gearing, and even a differential is completely mind-blowing. So kudos to Mr. Martz for actually making this work. At number 9, the Technic V8. The LEGO Technic line allows you to create some very complex models, and sometimes even more so than regular LEGO builds. But this particular V8 is a complete masterpiece. This engine pretty much involves everything, including twin cams, push rods, spring valves, and even a distributor system with lights for imitating spark plugs and air fuel intakes. So can you run your car off this thing? Um, no, because it is running off electrical motors, so it's technically not a real running engine. But it's still a pretty epic build by Sam Rook, and hopefully he can do more LEGO builds like this in the future. At number 8, the 64-cylinder radio engine. One of the biggest LEGO engines was created for one of the biggest LEGO cars ever made, which can actually run. Normally, radial engines work by having multiple cylinders placed around a central crankshaft, and they're typically used in aircraft due to their reliability and weight advantage. This model engine doesn't act like the real thing, but it does run off compressed air, and it does produce mechanical power. Several of these engines were put together to power a fully life-sized LEGO car. It drives like the real thing, and it can go over 30 miles per hour, which is really impressive for a piece of plastic. We take a step away from the LEGO realm, and we look at number 7, the V12 Connects. There are quite a few impressive builds out there, but nothing compares to this one epic model. It's composed of 15,000 pieces, has a fully functional head scoop, double overhead cam, 4 valves per cylinder, and even a running supercharger. It is quite a bit noisy for a model engine, but making thousands of Kinex pieces move together is just pure craziness. Also, make sure to check out the original video in my description links, as somehow this video only has 200 views. At number 6, the 3D printed Subaru EJ20. This particular build is a 35% scaled model engine, and it incorporates a few non-printed parts, including the motor and speed controller. It's still an incredible build with fully moving pistons, valves, and pulleys, and plus it doesn't leak oil like the real thing. The same creators also built other types of model engines, and even a transfer case, so I'm just waiting for when he'll build a full-scale 3D printed motor. At number 5, the Explorer. There are quite a few 3D printed engines out there, but the Explorer 1 is probably the most impressive one ever made. The engine took several years of designing, and roughly 1800 hours of printing. Virtually everything was 3D printed, including temperature sensor brackets and the main PCU casing. So yeah, this is like the real deal jet engine. But keep in mind, it's built out of plastic and it runs off compressed air. The development team plans to test the model in the near future, and then they will eventually refine and build another version of this model. We now branch into real working engines and look at number 4, a miniature Ford inline 300, which is basically a scaled down version of the real deal. It has full water cooling, a splash oil system, and even a magnetic distributor with electronic ignition. I like this particular engine because it was manually machined, and overall the build took over 1600 hours, so there was a lot of work put into this thing. And the scaled model will probably not power your car, or even a go-kart for that matter, but it will probably last just as long as a real motor. At number 3, the Chevy V8 Philip. Picking real working modeled engines was a little bit tricky because there's so many impressive builds. But the Junior is one of the best scaled modeled engines out there. It is a 250cc V8 with a bore and stroke based on the Chevy 308. Everything is properly scaled, and that includes the starter motor and even the clutch assembly. The entire homemade project took over 4 years, and this thing probably has more power than my own car's motor. But I think it just needs a supercharger and maybe a little bit of nitrous. At number 2, the homemade V10. I featured this build before, and it's one of the best homemade projects out there. Even though the block and crank pins are slightly offset, everything else about this engine is pretty much the same as a full scaled version of a V10 in a Dodge Viper. Every little part was handmade, so there was no CNC equipment or even 3D printing. As for the engine, it's 125cc 
with full sequential ignition, and it provides a lot of horsepower. The build is meticulous, skillful, and remarkable. At number 1, the scaled model of the iconic 2800 radial engine. Not too many people can build homemade radial engines, and this is one of the most complicated and amazing builds. The original R2800 was a workhouse in World War II, and it was used in multiple bombers including the Corsair, Hellcat, and even the B26. So it's definitely really cool to see a Mini 2800 show a little piece of history. Anyways, this particular build took over 1100 hours, and was built by Heller Davis. It is roughly 260 cc's with a fully running pressurized oil system, which incorporates two oil pumps. It was built from scratch and the project utilized only raw materials with the exception of one small casting. And like many great mini builds, this particular model is probably best just to remain stationary. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel.